Hello everyone. Today's lecture will review and compare the four market structures. And the four market structures that we would be looking at are perfect competition, monopolistic competition, oligopoly, and monopoly. Here we have a pyramid that really depicts how many firms there are in the market structure. At the bottom of the pyramid, we have a perfectly competitive industry, which consists of a large number of firms, monopolistically competitive industry, which consists of a few firms. So number of firms is less than perfectly competitive industry. So after this, we have oligopolistic structure. And then at the top of the pyramid, we have an industry which only consists of one firm, which is a monopolist. Now, let's review some characteristics of a perfectly competitive industry. No firm in this case has market power. They take prices as given, the price takers. They produce identical products. There's no product differentiation. So there's no variety that is being offered in this industry. There are no restrictions to entry, so anyone can start the business. Let's look at that for monopolistic competition. There is element of market power. There are similar but different products. There are, there are no restrictions on entry of new firms. What about oligopolistic structure? There are a small number of firms that compete with each other. The firms might or might not produce identical products. There are barriers to entry. And the most important is the strategic interactions between the firms. Monopoly, only one firm and faces the market demand function. There are no close substitutes for this product and there are barriers to entry that protect the firms from competition. What about the output and price decisions being made by firms in these different market structures? Well, the equilibrium quantity is determined when they equate marginal revenue to marginal cost for all the firms in the market structures. But the price differ across these industries. The graph for a firm in a monopolistically competitive industry or graph for a monopoly. The equilibrium quantity is determined by where marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost. So in this case, the equilibrium quantity is 3. How is price determined? Wherever this quantity hits the price, the demand function, that's the maximum consumers are willing to pay, and that determines the equilibrium price in this case, which would be 14. The profits are being measured by the difference between price and average cost multiplied by the quantity that they are producing. Let's look at the differences between monopolistic competition and monopoly. I will distinguish between a short run and the long run. In the short run, monopoly makes positive profits. Monopoly also makes positive profits in the long run. Firms in a monopolistic competitive market, however, might make positive or negative profits in the short run. But these firms in the long run would be making zero profits. Uh, again, the reason why they make zero profits is that there are no barriers to entry. So if firms in the short run are making positive profits, more firms would enter the market till the profits have been driven down to zero. Okay. Now, uh, this is uh, what the graph looks like for, a, for one firm in a monopolistically competitive industry, which is making zero profits. So equilibrium quantity is where marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost. Price is determined where uh, this hits the demand function. As you can see, price is equal to average total cost function at this point, and hence there are zero profits being made by firms in this industry. This is a graph for a typical firm in a perfectly competitive industry. You have the demand function, which is horizontal, since the firms in the perfectly competitive industries are price takers, and this is also equal to your marginal revenue. So the optimum quantity or uh, equilibrium quantity is where marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost. This is 100. This is also efficient scale of production uh, because this is the minimum point of average total cost function. We'll do this more in the next slide. And what also we know is that price is equal to marginal cost in this case. Okay, so marginal cost equal to marginal revenue and price is equal, equal to your marginal cost, which is also equal to your average total cost function. Let's uh, discuss these two terms first. One is the excess capacity and the second one is markup. Let's define the two terms, uh, excess capacity and markup. A firm has excess capacity if it produces less than the efficient scale of production, which is the quantity at which ADC or average total cost function is minimum. Markup is how, what is the difference between the price and the marginal cost? So is the amount by which price exceeds the marginal cost. So let's uh, look at this example of a firm in a monopolistically com competitive industry. Uh, equilibrium is marginal revenue equal to marginal cost. What is the excess capacity? Is this difference between the, how much they produce and what the efficient scale of production is? Let's look at the second concept, which is markup. Price is greater than marginal cost. So this is the markup for this firm in a monopolistically competitive industry. 
So what we know is that uh, monop uh, monopolist or forms of monopolist monopolistically competitive industry are producing less than the efficient scale, there's excess capacity, and there is a huge markup where prices higher than the marginal cost. There is one thing that we need to uh, remember that this markup does give us variety, it gives us choices, right? Uh, and choices are would increase the welfare as well of consumers.